Hi guys, thanks for watching. So in this video, I'm going to share with you what are all the things that I'm going to pack for my upcoming EBC hike. So please bear in mind, this is before my hike. So I hope this will be helpful to you. So let's get started. First, let's talk about the gear that I'm going to bring for this EBC hike. Definitely, I'm going to bring my usual camera that I use for photography and also videography, which is my Nikon Z6 together with the prime lens, which is the 85mm 1.8. And the reason why I picked this lens is only to avoid the hassle of changing the lens throughout the hike. So it will reduce the risk of uh, having accidentally drop it. Kit lens uh, might be more versatile for um, day hike or for traveling, but I wish to take some better bokeh uh, effect photo. Hence I have to make a give and take here and I have decided to go with this 85mm instead. And I also updated the firmware for my camera. Uh, for the B-Type Express card so that I can actually capture photos and video up to 256 gigabyte uh, memory. I have also placed an order for the extra two batteries so including the existing battery that I have. I total have uh, three batteries for this entire hike. Hopefully it should be sufficient for me uh, every interchange of my charging. I have also get one uh, Peak Design Capture Camera Clip version 3 which is uh, very, uh, it's like a handy holster where it can actually be put on on your back strap or on your belt, and it's very convenient if let's say you are in the outdoor, you don't want to, you don't wish to put in and take out from your bag all the time. You can actually use the big design capture clip to just uh, slot it in in your on your strap or actually on your belt, right? So that is actually quite convenient. At least what I expect to be useful during the hike. So next up on the gear will be my drone. So I'm going to bring my drone, which is the DJI Mini 3 Pro. So this is actually a fly more uh, model. I have three um, battery, which can each of them can actually fly me for about 45 minutes. I think that should be sufficient for each of the uh, height. Then I can, uh, whenever I have the chance to charge it, definitely I'll charge it. And hopefully I'll manage to get some very uh, nice uh, drone footage during the EBC hike. I have also purchased an extra uh, micro SD uh, for the drone memory specifically for this uh, EBC hike. And since I'll be using my camera for most of the photo taking, I have decided to still use my iPhone 13 which is the usual gadget I use for my YouTube content. Uh, all the video, if you guys have checked my other's video, I'm actually shooting just using the iPhone 13. So I have decided to do the same thing for my EBC hike because uh, I think it's more handy and it's more light for me to uh, handle throughout the hike and it will not burden my uh, hiking uh, process, right? So um, actually for this video itself, I'm also using the iPhone 13 to shoot uh, this review video and um, the reason why I bought a X-Pen system whereby you, I can do the backup uh, during the hike so whenever the phone is already full, I can actually uh, offload it to the Xpand uh, USB where I can uh, cater up to 188GB so from there, I think I don't have to worry that I can actually capture more videos and also even photos using my iPhone 13 so this is uh, so far the one of the best solutions that I've found if you do wish to print uh, if you do not wish to bring uh, your iPad or MacBook for the backup purpose. So I have the same issue because I don't want to bring all this uh, iPad or also MacBook during the hike. It will be vulnerable for uh, damage and also accident as well. So I have chosen this uh, x -Pen system where I think you can actually check it out if I say you are uh, looking for the same solution. So the next very important things for my EBC hike definitely is the backpack. So I have choose this 65 liter backpack uh, for my EBC and it's actually a brand new one that I bought purposely for this hike. Uh, if you have followed my channel for a while, you will notice that most of the time I've been hiking around Malaysia for smaller hill and also mountains. But for this longer hike, I'll need a lot of gears and also uh, things that I've been bringing along. That is the reason why I have chosen the 65 liter and it will also be helpful for my future longer hike and 65 liter is also nice for the multi days uh, camping outdoor and also for backpack purpose right uh, among all the bags that I have tried and of course even for Osprey itself there's a lot of different range of uh, bag and also different range of uh, purpose 
have chosen the this model which is the uh, Atmos AG65 is actually using the anti-gravity uh, technology um, after I have tried on few different bags and I really feel that this anti-gravity really make a difference when carrying especially if you are carrying the bag for long hours uh, and it's very important for us to protect our back and also our shoulder for this kind of uh, long haul hike. Uh, there is uh, no right and wrong as long as my recommendation is actually you go to the shop itself, try on the bag and if let's say you feel comfortable with it, it helps up uh, your posture, just go for the one that uh, you think is suitable for you. Next, we're going to talk about the clothing part for my packing. For hiking in mountains with the uh, climate which is cold and windy, I think the layering of our clothing is very important. So I have to do some study and also research online. And really thanks for all those uh, experienced hikers for sharing their view. And I have uh, decided to do a uh, three layering of my entire hike. So first of all, the inner, from the most inner layer, I have uh, choose this uh, extra fine merino crew neck long sleeve sweater which is from uh, Uniqlo you can actually check out in their online store why I choose merino for most of the clothing that I'll share with you later on is because uh, it really does a difference when I compare between uh, cotton and also merino right I have done the try myself my reason high that I feel that actually merino really is more helpful in keeping warm and not only keeping warm, it also helps to reduce odor uh, from our sweater. The inner layer, so we move to my mid layer, which is I have uh, choose for this ultra light down jacket, uh, also from Uniqlo. So you can see it's a very lightweight uh, jacket packed inside uh, this very tiny uh, bag. And actually it looks like this. Yeah, so this will actually act as my mid layer for conserving the heat between our inner layer and also the outer layer and by conserving the heat we are able to stay uh, warm throughout the cold height and especially when you go to higher and higher altitude the weather get very cold and also it uh, get very windy so on the windy part I will share with you on the outer layer which is very important how to actually keep yourself warm okay so this is actually the outer layer that I have chosen Okay, so this is actually a blinder man jacket from Kathmandu and why I say the outer layer is very important uh, especially if you are doing right in your inner layer, mid layer but if you are do wrongly on the outer layer especially for this uh, kind of uh, cold weather and windy um, nature height then you will uh, defeat the purpose even if you are doing right on the inner and also the mid layer the first thing we have to uh, take note is actually for the outer layer it has to be waterproof and also windproof so when it's actually windproof, um, you will not have the cold air entering the mid layer where we actually conserving the heat for our body. Doing this layer right will actually mean a lot. Okay, so you don't have to actually wear uh, very thick uh, because if let's say it's thick but it's not windproof, the wind, the cold wind will still uh, penetrate to your inner layer and you might not have done a good heat conserving and on the clothing parts I also have to uh, protect my head and also my ears from the cold this is just a normal winter uh, basic beanie keep our head and also our ear uh, warm so similarly uh, I have also opt for this windproof glove this is actually uh, will be helpful especially when we go to the higher altitude you need to use your hand to uh, do some grabbing or you need to use your hand to hold uh, the stick or hiking stick and uh, you will need a uh, two pairs of uh, windproof gloves. I have also uh, packed some basic short sleeve merino shirt. This is actually for my casual wear whenever I have reached one, uh, any of the guest house or lodge uh, along the hike then I can actually uh, change to the more comfy uh, short sleeve uh, when I'm indoor and I can actually do um, my casual activities like eating and also uh, reading books. This is something new to me as well. This is actually a neck warmer uh, which I don't really wear during the tropical hike in Malaysia but I, I have actually bought uh, for this EBC hike mainly it's because of the weather as well and um, I have bought two types of the neck warmer so this is a, one is a more silky type one is a more uh, merino clothing type okay so I'll actually try out during my hike I'll let you guys know which is actually more comfortable for the weather there and, and, and as 
you all know this is actually very important not only uh, for the cold weather but it's also to, to ease our breathing process and also to avoid uh, our nose getting frizzed right so this is very very important you can also get a type of mask which i'll also bring along um, just in case that uh, i feel more comfortable with the mask the next category for my clothing will be my footwear Right, so for footwear, same thing, uh, I have opt for the merino types of uh, socks. Also uh, gotten this from uh, Decathlon, so you guys can check out their online store as well. I get the two types of uh, different socks. One is actually a long merino socks, one is actually a short uh, merino socks. So I'll actually interchange uh, these two different uh, types of length and see which is actually more comfortable. Okay. But I do believe that uh, the longer one will be uh, more practical because if let's say the wind is big, you want to cover as high as possible so that the cold wind don't get sit in from your uh, hiking pants. So the shoes that I opt for this hike is actually this Acid Gel Sonoma 6 with Gore-Tex, right? So initially I have planned for the Solomon, but after my recent hike, I have actually invested on another different pairs of Acid. I found that the gripping and also the solid rubber uh, outer sole is actually very uh, good. So that is the reason why I have decided to invest another pair of ASIC uh, hiking and trail run shoes for my this upcoming EVC. Right? As you can see, the grip of the solid rubber is uh, very nice. And this pair also come with the Gore-Tex technology, whereby the upper part uh, is actually waterproof. So whenever you encounter with the uh, uh, sudden snow, you can actually prevent the melting snow to seep in into your hiking shoe. So it's very important for the EBC hike to offer a hiking shoe which is actually waterproof and you actually give you more comfort and uh, make sure to get the one with uh, not only waterproof but they have the technology for the breathable, right? Same thing, you can go to the shop and really try on and if you feel comfortable, you just go for it. Okay, bear in mind, this shoe will actually uh, go, uh, follow you for your entire ABC hike, which is at least 9 to 10 days. But for, my, for me, I'm actually doing this trail for um, 15 days because I'm going to the Gokyo Lake, right? So I'll be very careful in choosing the pair of shoes that will go with me. And also, one more thing to mention is that uh, normally you will see a lot of people go with the hiking boot. All right, so there's no right and wrong also. You can go for the low cut or even the high boot, right? So whichever you feel that is uh, suitable for you. Of course, if you go with the boot, there's a better protection on your ankle. But for me, I don't really have an issue uh, during hiking that I'll sprain the ankle or injure the ankle uh, that often, right? And especially in the terrain like EBC, uh, the land is actually quite open and you will be able to notice some obstacle and also things that will injure your uh, leg quite easily so as long as you stay careful i think this low cut uh, hiking shoe is uh, can does the same thing now let's quickly go through some of the other accessories that i'll be bringing along for my ebc trip so first of all i recommend to you all this uh, philips go zero avenger hydration bottle uh, this is actually one of the solutions if let's say you are worried about the polluted water or you uh, encounter uh, infection of uh, bacteria or virus because of the water source then i think you need to you can actually consider to invest in one of this kind of uh, hydration bottle where it has a 99.99 percent of filtration uh, effectiveness it's also very convenient for you to uh, bring around i choose this philip one is because uh, it's squeezable so when it's squeezable it's very easy for you to actually uh, drink the water and also to offload or actually to fill up the, the bottle right so if let's say the bottle is actually flexible it also helps you in packing whereby you will not be actually rigid in terms of taking the space of your bag hopefully this will be helpful for my EBC trip this is also a very important uh, supporting accessory for the EBC hike I bought two uh, foldable hiking stick which is also something that I rarely use in the Malaysia hike because I just go for the, some small hill and also mountain and for EBC, uh, if there's any uh, steep or any uh, clear terrains without support then I think um, this hiking stick will come in handy and the reason why I choose the foldable 
uh, hiking stick is because it's uh, actually is saving more space. When it's fold, it can actually become shorter if compared to those stretchable type, right? Of course, for uh, first aid, I have this uh, small, handy, convenient first aid kit, which I'll always put inside my backpack. And I managed to actually borrow one of these uh, Rescue Me satellite device as well. So this is uh, only when there's uh, unforeseen situation or accident happen that I need rescue uh, and there's no help around, then I can actually activate this uh, satellite Rescue Me. I hope I don't have to use it, but um, it's good to have. I'll also bring along this uh, herbs type of warming and also relief patch. So whenever you have a muscle pain uh, during the EVC high, I think this will come in helpful and handy. At the same time, I'm also bringing along this uh, counter pain cream, which is uh, you guys is more familiar with. I'll have this uh, sleeping bag with me as well, but this is actually just a sleeping bag to cater for 11 Celsius degree. As per my guide, um, for this EVC height, I will need to actually look for a sleeping bag which is minus 15 Celsius degree. But because I don't have time to look for one, so I'll just go with this. But of course, I will need to do some layering before I sleep into this uh, sleeping bag and hopefully it will help me. And I'll check the weather forecast during my height. The weather at night will be um, roughly at the average of minus 10 so uh, if with the proper layering and this sleeping bag which can cope up to 11 Celsius degree hopefully I will still be okay I will also have this disposable towel with me so this is actually a more lightweight choice of uh, towel but I don't foresee that I will be showering a lot especially when we go to the higher altitude uh, it will be very cold so from the review from other hikers they don't normally shower a lot so um, I'll have to rely on this uh, wet tissue, which is the baby wipe, safe for the skin. If you choose the baby wipe rather than the normal wet tissue, it will keep uh, your skin clean and also moisture. And at the same time, you might need to have this uh, convenient uh, disposable towel. I've also buy this something special, which is the solar panel charging. So this solar panel charging, I'll actually use try to use it along my height um, so that I can charge some small device like my phone that has my camera but at least I hope it will help me to save some money on charging because when you go to the high altitude every device you have to pay for the charging I'm also bringing this uh, headlamp of course uh, I don't expect to move uh, to hide early in the morning or in the dark but just in case if let's say some of the days I would like to wake up early when it's dark or during the night I want to do some uh, starry sky shooting then I might need this uh, headlamp along with this headlamp I have bring also extra batteries I hope you guys find it useful so I hope you like guys like this kind of video if you like this kind of video do give me a like or subscribe to my channel thanks for your support